everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Hallowed Nights painting tutorial. It's our third one after Garda Steel Soul and the Vindictors, and we have yet another recipe to show you. This is my favourite one for kind of blue bright steel, and well, if you've seen my Grey Knights videos, you'll know exactly what's going to be happening. But, for those of you who haven't, and those of you who are interested in how to paint this particular model, well, we're going to jump in and start painting him. He is he, our Knight Judicator, has been primed in Grace here. However, our two Griffhounds have been primed in Wraithbone. You could do them both all in the same colours if you wish, but I've gone for Wraithbone on here for a slightly more warm, animalistic, natural look, and we're going for coldness on our Hallowed Knight. So, we're going to start with him, then we're going to do the Griffhounds, and then we'll be done. So, on that note, let's jump in and start painting him. The first colour we're going to be using is Grey Knight Steel. We're going to be painting this all over all of our Knight Judicator's silver armour. Just the armour for now. Any weapons and things that might have some silver on them. There's not a lot of those to be honest. Well, he does just have that ruddy great big bow. There's no kind of big sword or anything that we've got to watch out for. So realistically, it is just all of the armour that we're going to be painting this all over. Like so. We're going to get a nice even coat of this, so if it does take a couple of thin coats, then so be it. So with that Grey Knight Steel applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Space Wolves Grey and we're going to use this to shade all of our silver armour. This gives us a really beautiful bluish tone, which I just love doing. So with that done, just before we brighten it back up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down Retributor armor. I'm gonna use this to paint in all of the trim and decorative features. And this is because if we get it all brightened up and then we do the Retributor armor and all the shading and all that, it just helps us, you know, gives us a little bit more opportunity for mistakes. Now, he is a Knight Judicator, so he deserves to be as blingy as possible. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pick out all of the trim across all of the armor plates. And there's quite a lot of it, so he's got these areas around the knee pads. Like so. We've got this one around the ankle. We have the lightning bolt design here. We have the gorget just in there. We've got the kind of areas around the mask. Basically, there's a lot of gold. <laughs> We're not gonna be working on the bow just yet, or indeed, the little scabbard just there. We will deal with all of that a little bit later. At the moment, we're just focusing on getting all the armor to a perfect place. In a similar vein to the Retributor armor we've just applied, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Black Templar, and we're gonna apply this to all of the soft sections and all of the leather details around the model. Just like this. Oh, 
After taking an 18 month break and forgetting about the model, what we're going to do is we're going to return to it. <laughs> now, and we're going to return to it by taking some thinned down iron hands steel. And we're going to use this to relay all of the armor that we shaded all those months ago. So we're going to be applying this over the top of all of the flat panels of the armor. Just leaving that gloriously shaded blue, bluish steel in the deepest recesses. Just like that sort of thing. So with that all done, something Josh of 18 months ago didn't have was new paints, except now we do. So what we're gonna do is we're now gonna take some Tyran Blue. Not very much of this at all. I'm gonna apply this over the top of the armor. What we're looking to do here is kind of just tint it a little bit more blue, but not too much. So you don't wanna kind of load up your brush or anything. We'll take small amounts and just get this on there. Just like that sort of thing. So with that all done, we're now gonna move on to a different color, which is going to be some Sigvald Burgundy. I'm gonna use this on the inside of our cloak. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start over here on this edge. And then we're gonna start applying this. Borrowing from an older video now, what we're going to do is we're going to work on all the blue details whilst we're waiting for that Sigvald burgundy to dry. And what we're going to do is we're going to take some Talisar blue and we're going to use this to paint in quite a few different details. So this is just the first color as well, so don't worry too much if it's the wrong color, because it will be. But we're going to be working on the shoulders. Just like that. We've got the inside of them to do as well. Don't forget those. Like that. We've got the other shoulder just under here as well. We're also going to apply this to like that. 
Then we have the various bits of cloak. So we've got a little bit of it here. We just want to get at. Then we got all of that back bit, got a little bit in here as well, and a tiny little bit just there to get out as well. So with all of that Talisar blue applied, what we're now going to do is going to take a roughly four parts ultramarines blue to one part contrast medium mix. And this is just to improve the flow of ultramarines blue because it is a bit of a pain to work with at times. And we're going to now apply this over the top of all of that Talisar blue. So with that all done, I've still got two extra bits of blue drying because these are Talisar blue, I forgot to do them. We've got the little disc on the back here of the quiver and we've got the parchment here as well because quite a few Hallowed Knights tend to have blue parchment, which is pretty cool. Uh, but what we're going to do whilst we're waiting for those to dry and so I can do the Ultramarines blue section on them, I'm going to take some Blood Angels red next. I'm going to apply this over the top of his helmet plume and the soft wraps on both of his weapons, a little gladius and on the great bow. And so with that done, we're now going to take some Saigor Brown and we're going to apply this over the top of the wood of the bow and of the arrows. So with that all done, we are now going to take some thinned down Retributor armor once again. And we're going to use this to paint in all the bits that are going to be gold that we haven't done yet. Because I don't know why I didn't do them before. Probably had a reason. Ease, ease of painting, probably. So this is going to be all the areas on the bow, for example. Uh, it's going to be the, the fletchings of the arrows. We 
We've got various bits of jewellery and things. Like this little bit just here. I'm painting this over the top of this bit of the quiver that we haven't done yet. So with all of that Retributorama now applied, what we're going to do is going to take some Skeleton Horde and we're going to apply this over the top of the bowstring. Just like that. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down iron hand steel and we're going to apply this over the top of pretty much all of the remaining details, excluding the head. So what we do have are the arrowheads. We've got the sigil. On the shoulder. Don't worry about the kind of lightningy bits around the outside. We'll deal with that later. You can paint this all now, silver though, if you want to. And we've got the arrowheads down here, of course. Like that, a little bit more to do. Uh, and then we've got the bits on the actual bowstring itself. So now with that done, we're going to take some Fire Slayer Flash and we're going to apply this as a shade and as a base coat. So firstly, what we're going to do is we're going to use this to shade all the gold. So I'm just going to start here on the scale mail. Like so. But, as mentioned, we're also going to use this as a base coat for the face, well, head. And with that now done, we're going to take some Nuln Oil. I'm going to use this to shade the silver that isn't the armor. And for our final shade, we're going to take some Caraberg Crimson. I'm going to use this to shade the inside of the cloak.
So with those shades all applied, he is now what I would call a war hipster battle ready, and he's looking pretty cool. However, we're of course not gonna leave him there, of course not. I'm gonna take him to the next level, and we're gonna do this by adding some highlights. And the first of these is going to be some thinned down storm host silver. And we're gonna use this to highlight all of our silver. I'm going to start just here. It's a slightly weird place to start, but it's the first edge that leapt out at me. So we're just going to start picking out all the edges. Just like this. With that storm host silver all applied, we got some absolutely gorgeous silver armor. <laughs> That's why I love the Hallowed Knights. Anyway, what we're going to do is move on now to the next metallic, well, the other metallic, which is going to be all the gold. And what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down retributor armor. I'm going to use this to relayer all the gold. Just avoiding any recesses. Or anywhere that the shade has really settled. You just want to be quite careful, particularly around here on the scales, because It doesn't have to be perfect here, but it really does add a little something, something. To all the scale mail, for example. So with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take a roughly two parts storm host silver to one part retributor armor mix. I'm going to use this to now highlight all of the gold, make it nice and super shiny. Awesome. So with that all done, all of the metallics are now finished and they're looking bright, shiny, beautiful and awesome. So what we're going to do is move on and we're going to move on to the interiors of the cape. Now the colour we're going to be using is some thinned down pink horror. What we're going to do here is we're just going to pick out kind of the really sharpest edges. So we're just going to start here. Just like that. So with that done, we then want to take a teensy tiny amount of Jacaro orange. We want to use this to create a little bit of spot highlight. Just by adding a little bit of an extra light source to the center of these long edges, but also to the sharpest points on the edge of the cloak. So with that done, we're now going to work on the outside of the cloak. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some Tyran blue first, and we're going to apply this over the top. 
This is just on the cloak. You don't need to do this on the armor. We just want to take this down just a little touch more. So with that now done, I'm going to take some thinned down a latoc blue. I'm going to use this to highlight the cloak, but not yet the armor. It comes with the next one. So with all of that Alatoc blue applied, we're now gonna take some thins down Hoeth blue. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start highlighting the armor as well. So just around here, for example. We're just gonna apply the Hoeth blue. Like this. We're also going to pick out the little rivets and things you can see on the shoulder. Pretty certain that's a rivet. And there like that. We might as well just finish off this shoulder before we move on to the next detail. Which is of course going to be the cloak. Now what we're gonna do here, once we get to it in just a second, is we're gonna take the Hoeth Blue. I'm gonna use this to add some little spot highlights to kind of just create a little bit of extra light on our cloak. So for example, just here towards the bottom of our previous LA Top Blue highlight. Like that, Got another one just here. Just like that. And of course we've got the corner just here on the cloak as well. And we've got the underside edge. So with all of that Hoeth blue now applied, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thins down Fenrisian grey. I'm going to use this to add some dainty little spot highlights to all of our blue. So we're looking for just a tip of these highlights on the cloak. Like that sort of thing. Similarly for the bits on the inside. Like that. And then on the rivets, and on the sharpest corners of the armor. So with all that blue now done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thins down Gorthor Brown. We're gonna use this to highlight the wood.
So with that all applied, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down Dawnstone. I'm gonna use this to highlight all of the black details. So with that done, we're now going to finish him off by taking some thinned down Corax White and I'm going to use this over the top of any lightning bolts. So we've got one here, we've got these little ones on the belt. And we've got these ones on the helmet as well. Forgive me, but he's not quite finished. We do have a little bit of Blood Angels red left to apply, and this is going to be to all the little gems. So we've got one just here on the scabbard. And there's also one back here. Like that. Like that. And we've got this little one here on the shoulder. So, finally, the Knight's Judicator is finished, as you can see, and he looks absolutely fantastic. So, it means we're going to move on to the Griff Hounds with which he is accompanied. Here they are. Now, as a reminder, they've been primed in Wraithbone and we're basically just gonna focus on one at a time. Well, we're gonna do them both exactly the same way. So we're just gonna focus on the one and we're gonna focus on this one, I've just decided. So the color we're gonna be using first is a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Gorgrunter Fur and Cygore Brown. And we're gonna be applying this over top of all of their flesh. I'm just going to start just here on the leg. Got a little bit too much on my brush here, which is why it's all goopy. <laughs> so I'm just going to wipe some of that off like I just did on my finger. And just absorb it and move that paint around. And get this all over that leg, just like that. Now, I've got the rest of the body to do. So, I'm just gonna come in here, like this. I'm gonna bring it all the way down the leg. Just watching out for any large dark pools. Just moving that paint around.
this. And we've also got the tail to do. So with that all done, we're then going to take some Gilliman flesh and we're going to apply this to the inside of their ears. Like that. And with that now done, we're going to take some Black Legion. I'm going to apply this over the top of all of the feathers and the heads, excluding the top parts of their beaks. So with that now done, we're going to take some Agaros Dunes. I'm going to apply this over the top of the beak. With that Agaros Dunes applied, we're then going to take some Volupus Pink and apply this over the tongue. And so with that done, we're now going to take some thinned down Retributor Armor and we're going to apply this over the top of their little bits of armor. So with that gold all applied, we're now going to shade most of the miniature using some Reichland Flesh Shade. And we're going to use this to shade the gold. Like this. It's a little bit different to the Knight Judicator. But what we're also going to do with this is we're going to shade all the brown. So with that right from Flesh Shade applied, both our Griff Hounds are now at what I would call a War Hipster battle ready, and they're both looking pretty cool. However, we're not going to leave them there. Of course not, we're going to take them to the next level. I'm going to do this by adding some freehand and some highlights. So we're going to start with that freehand, and what we're going to do is we're going to take some Black Legion. We're going to paint in the markings that they have. So we're going to start on the back, and basically this is the easiest part, where we're going to take the Black Legion, and we're going to paint this, Coming all the way down the back of our Griff Hound. I'm going to widen it out a little bit towards the base of the tail. Just like that. Then I'm going to take small amounts of the Black Legion. I'm going to draw some little snaking lines coming down 
from the top. So we're just going to start right here. like that. Then what we can do, we can kind of widen them out a little bit towards the top. Like that sort of thing. And then you can add some extra little kind of offshoots if you want to. Like that sort of thing. And then we're going to obviously do the same thing on the other side. But we're also going to bring that line coming down the top of the tail. And then we're going to do a similar thing along the tail. So with those markings now applied, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Dawnstone and we're going to dry brush this over the top of the black. So with that all done, we're now going to take a tiny little bit of squig orange. I'm going to apply this over the eyes. And so with that done, we're now going to finish things off by taking some thinned down Liberator Gold. And we're going to use this to highlight the gold.
And so with their bases complete, the Hallowed Knight's Knight Judicator and his Griff Hounds are now finished and it only took me 18 months to do it. Now of course you don't have to take an 18 month break when painting yours, but I really wanted to just get this guy done. He's been on the table for a very long time and now he's done. So he never has to be on the table again, apart from the tabletop. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so by heading to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like all of these wonderful, amazing people have done. And alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button below, exactly like these fabulous folks have done scrolling up on the screen before you. There are so many of you out there that it really takes my breath away and I cannot thank you enough for everything you do as without you I wouldn't be able to keep making these Contrast Plus videos. And if you really like this video and you want to send me a little thanks just click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to make sure you stay up to date don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.